Hi, wine friends, and happy Wine Wednesday. If you are new, I'm Ali from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. So if you know me in real life, or to be honest, if you watch the channel at least for a little bit, you've probably figured out I'm a big rosé fan. And this coming Saturday is National Rosé Day. It's um, usually the uh, second Saturday of June. So June 13th is uh, Rosé Day which means that even though today's Wednesday, I'm gonna celebrate a little bit early and maybe hopefully make a suggestion of a wine that you can try and open to celebrate yourself. So today I'm gonna to share the 2018 Hampton Water Rosé. I reviewed the uh, 2017 vintage uh, almost exactly a year ago, actually. I'll link down below. Um, but the 2017 vintage was the first one. And this is a wine I grabbed for $20 on wine.com. And it's a blend of 60% uh, Grenache, 15% Senso, 15% uh, Mouvedre, and 10% Syrah. So if you haven't heard of this wine, it is actually the collaboration of John Bon Jovi, his son Jesse, Jesse's college roommate, Ali Thomas, and then French winemaker, Gerard Bertrand. The grapes all come from the south of France. And while I'm opening the 2018 vintage, when I purchased this a couple, couple weeks ago, I guess, I hadn't seen the 2019 vintage available, but now on wine.com, that's actually what is available. So I will say um, the thing about this wine, uh, some people love them, some people hate them. You can take a close look, um, but this has one of those glass stoppers as a cork. I find them very difficult to get off. <laughs> All right, so I finally managed to pry it off. All right, and we will give it a pour. And of course, I've got my Simply Charm wine charm on here. If you can see it, it's a little snorkel. I figured diving into Hampton Water uh, is what it used to be called. Now it's called just Hampton Water. Kind of a fun charm to um, put with us. So uh, the wine itself is definitely a very, very clear color. I would say it's kind of like a salmon-y pink kind of got a little bit of an orange tint to it but but pretty pretty light in in color all right let's give it a sniff Whew. all right so definitely a lot's going on here um strawberries and i would say some peaches um I also feel like I'm getting a little bit of like pink grapefruit maybe. Definitely some honeydew melon, um, maybe even some cantaloupe. Definitely some melon going on. Maybe even a hint of thyme. All right, why don't we give it a taste? Cheers. All right, very, um, very good, very refreshing. Um, definitely getting those strawberries, the white peaches, lots of melon um particularly i would say almost like the melon rind like when you get down in the honeydew melon closer to the rind not that real sweet middle part but kind of closer to the edge um it definitely some of that still getting a little bit of that time in there which surprises me a little bit um and also getting some more grapefruit i think it's very good i enjoyed it i will say um, and I think I said this in my review of it last time, right? So it's on sale on wine.com for $20. It normally is uh, selling for $25. I think it's a little high priced. Um, I would much prefer it if it was in the $15, $18, um, $20. I'll definitely grab it. Um, but I do think that it is a little on the expensive side. That said, it's also very, very tasty. Um, it's a wine that would go really well with salads. Um, I'm kind of thinking it'd be nice with one of those like spinach and strawberry and feta uh, salads, maybe with some grilled chicken on it. Also, it'd be really good with seafood. It's a great like porch sipper out on a day like this, listening to the birds. It's perfect for that. Uh, and it's also perfect for uh, Hampton, for the beach, for, for Hamptons and all. Uh, it's, I was reading about how they came up with the name and I thought it was a funny story. So basically Jesse and Ali were at um, the 
Bon Jovi house in uh, the Hamptons, and John Bon Jovi says to, to the to the two two guys, "Hey, do you want some rosé? Ha <laughs> ha! I call it pink juice. Um, you want some pink juice?" And Jess is like, "No, Dad, we call it uh, Hampton water because the only time we ever drink it is in the Hamptons. It's Hampton water." And basically, six months later, the entire business plan had been born, the marketing plan had been born, they were starting their conversations with um, with the winemaker and here we are with the Hampton Water. So I definitely think it would be a good beach wine too. The only problem is, is just make sure that you are able to bring glass to the beach that you take it to because it is in a glass bottle. And that is everything that I have. I'd love to know, have you had a chance to try the uh, Hampton water? And if, if not, um, it, do you have a different beach wine that you are looking to enjoy this summer? Let me know in the comments down below. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. If you aren't already subscribed, you can do that by clicking on the icon right here or on the subscribe button down below. But don't forget, also click on that bell because it will notify you when I upload a new video, which is gonna be every Wine Wednesday. And if you are looking for a recommendation, you can find one right there. Thanks for joining and I hope you're able to stay safe and healthy. And if you're reopening uh, where it is that you're living, I hope you're able to do that uh, safely as well. Happy Wine Wednesday. Cheers.